everybody and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Alive! Look at me! Look, look at me! It's amazing what a few weeks of quarantine will do. In fact, probably now two months, I think. Maybe. I don't know. But here we are in Jurassic World Alive and I've got to say, this past week has probably been the most, um, uh, might like a uh, stat progressive or like leveling up kind of for good creatures week that we've ever had I think uh, the fact that we had we got griper sutures which of course you're going to use for either the new hybrid or gripolith uh, or gripolith sorry um, then we've we had our dentist it's not, well, the Ardennes Maxima levels up that you could have with the Argentinosaurus if it's not part of your local. And also Irritator, which of course you can only get from events. So there's been, like, if I have a look at my dinosaurs, Ardennes Maxima can be leveled up and Magnetator can be leveled up from those both events. Um, depending on which one you went for, we'll get into that in a second. But first, how about we have a look at the events coming this week over there? Yes, we have the, uh, well, from May 18th to 24th, it is the Lost World Jurassic Park. In my, one of the best Jurassic Park movies. Uh, it's really grown on me as I've gotten older. In fact, when I was a kid, I liked it. Then, as I got older, I was like, eh, it's kind of boring. Uh, <laughs> and then I sort of come back to it. I'm like, you know what? No, I, I appreciate what it did. Uh, so, Monday to Wednesday, we have the commons, which are Gallimimus, Stegosaur, Parasaurolophus, Triceratops Gen 2, and Velociraptor. Nothing to stand out is there. I guess Triceratops Gen 2 and Stegosaurus are probably the ones you want to go for. And if you're a lower level uh, creature, <laughs> if you're a lower level um, uh, player, Velociraptor, because Velociraptor has Indominus Rex and all that jazz. Uh, from Wednesday to Friday, not looking too interesting. Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2. Um, trying to remember what Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2's hybrid is. Is it Indoraptor? Uh, for Ind Indominus Rex Gen 2. I think it is. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, but, I mean, if you've played this game a long time, you've probably got loads of Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2 anyway. But if you haven't, I, that's probably the one you want to go for. Monostegatops with Triceratops could be good, though. Um, and Saturday to Sunday, the epics are T-Rex, Pteranodon, a friggin' gen. I think we missed it last week. We didn't have it last week, but the two weeks before that, we had it. And Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, I mean, T-Rex is always welcome. The thing is, this this time, it's three different types. The week just gone, it was two. Gripolith or, or sorry, Griper Sutures or Smilodon. So you could only dot six. This time you'll be able to dot nine. So you could, you know, you know if you choose one, that's nine times you get the dot. The easiest one to dot out of there is Tyranodon for me personally. So if you want the most DNA, probably go for Tyranodon. Uh, if you want to go for Quetzalryan. But T-Rex is always good. And especially when we've got these tournaments or leagues or championships, whatever. Uh, especially when they're just epics. Uh, you know, if you've got excess T-Rex DNA, you might as well just level up your T-Rex. You know what I mean? And throughout the entire week, we've got an attack battle event. We've got um, a, on the Friday, we've got a Griper Sutures uh, incubator to get. So that's a guaranteed 400 or 500, is it? Uh, epic DNA for Griper, so that's good. Uh, we've got some Fisher Scents, I think, dotted in on the Monday and the Thursday and the fr Saturday. So it's like every, every kind of other day, but not really. <laughs> And of course, we've just got loads of incubators to get. Um, Sunday has another epic incubator and Tuesday has another epic incubator. So Tuesday, if you're going to play the game, Tuesday, Friday and Sunday are probably the best ones to go for. Because they're the, they're the three days that have the epic incubators as well as everything else. And if you do it that way, then you're going to get a chance at the rares and stuff and what have you. So... What has Beaver been up to? Is he being beavered away? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Let's have a look. So, as you can see, out of all my team so far, everything can be leveled up. I got really lucky. I don't know what incubator it was, but... Oh, yeah, that's right, because every week now, Lydia are giving away free incubators just in the uh, message... message in here. It'll say, hey... Thanks for supporting us. Here's Incubator. And the last one that happened was a huge one. I don't even know if I can find it on the market. Uh, yeah, it was that one, the premium Incubator. We got one of these uh, for for free. And I proceeded to get 600 Ehrlichosaurus DNA. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, I don't know why the VIP is. There's no point in having the VIP. makes no sense. And of course, don't forget to uh, get your darts. 
because you never know when you're in a situation where you've just got loads of incubators or scents, sorry, to put out and you can't get any stops and all that jazz. Um, but anyway, back to this. So I've calculated that the minimum uh, DNA I can get for Ardenus Maxima today is 70 and the minimum for Magnetator is 70. Technically, we could max up Magnetator and possibly Ardenus Maxima. We'll need like hundreds. We'll need a hundred every time, so it's not going to happen. But Magnetator... There's a chance it's there. So, but before we do that, oh, I'm excited, I'm excited. We could have a flip to the oh my God. So, but before we get into that, we've got, what is it? Two, four, six, eight, 10, two, four, six, five, six, seven pops at an Erlicosaurus. We could have, sorry, an Erlidominus, a maxed Erlidominus. We could. Also, I have not been spending boosts on anything. So as you can see, if we click, okay, 230 health, uh, 208 attack and 216. So I could, in theory, if I get a really like a creature I want to use. So let's say the meta changes and constrictor boa whatever is useful. I can just go right, bam, bam, bam. There you go. Two health, two attack, two speed. At least it's you know usable, whatever. Um, because I'm there's there's no real need for me to apart from leveling up my creatures to boost them because what do I get out of it? I mean, I, I, I get higher in the ranks, and I guess, in general, there is a leaderboard, leaderboard? A leaderboard for this. So, in 14 days, my current reward is 3,400. So, I mean, if you want to get higher, like, the highest you can get, if you get what, I mean... Uh, yeah, you could get an extra 1,000 epics, I suppose. I mean, if you're 8,000 plus trophies. I mean, if I leveled up my creatures, I could see myself getting up to 6,000 plus trophies. So that's 5,000 in comparison. So that's, two, that's 1,600 extra blue DNA. God, we're going to see so many Indo Gen 2s, aren't we? We're going to see so many Indo Gen 2s come out after this. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. It's, everything about Indo Gen 2 is just annoying. Ah. Oh, I hate that I had to use it in this event. Anyway, anyway, anyway. We're going to go in here. Fingers crossed. So we've got a guaranteed five, six, 70 again from Erlophosaurus. Actually, we need to do some more fuses on the uh, Indominus Rex, but let's not do that just yet, because we could save. Also, it's costing me a thousand each time, and coin is really the the thing that I'm going to run out of here. Okay, come on, fingers crossed. We need some millionaire music. Ba -da -da -da. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get a hundred. <laughs> I mean, that's a tenth of a hundred. It's just a missing a zero. Okay, come on, come on, we can do it. If I get a level 30 early, Dominus, it's another 20. It's not gonna get us there. It's not gonna get us there. We have 600 now. 600 minimum is out of 750 we can get. 600 is the minimum now. Now, okay, okay, it's 610 is the minimum. It's not 10, 10, 20. I got a 70 on, I can't remember what it was. It was one of the uh, legendaries, not, not a unique. Oh, come on, stop it. Just give me like a, a 70. Come on, just give me a 70, please. I know it's a lot to ask for, but come on. Oh, stop it. No, I got two more pops, two more pops. Here we go, come on. What's the chance? It's 10, 10, is it gonna be 10, 10? Oh, 20. Come on, let's end on a high, let's end on a high. Look, we're so close, we're so close. What do I get if it's health? If it turns into 4,000. Yeah, 4,200 nod and 2,200 attack. Come on, last one. Last one. What's it going to be? It's another attack. Couldn't catch a break. You know what? I'm actually happy. I'll take that as long as when I do Adonis Maxima or Magnetator, I get like a 50 or higher in one of them. I'm happy with that. Okay. So we're, we're almost... An early Dominus is... I think everyone has an early Dominus. The fact that you can do speed boost and then rampage and cloak and switch out. It's, it's a good, fast, hard hitter. It's perfect. Uh, right, okay, before we do the other two, let's do two pops of this. I got seven, I got 50, 50, 70 for the flyer legendary of this one. So we got two pops. Turns out we're not going to get, like, really high on this thing. Yeah, 10. I mean, we're not going to level it up. We definitely can't level it up now. I don't think we could have before, because even with 200, we wouldn't have got it. But it, this thing, oh, come on. Ew, that's the worst. Oh. With this thing, it's in my team because it's it's a good dinosaur, but it's at the moment with its stats and level, it's really not on par with anything else. Okay, let's leave Magnetator last. That's the closest one that we can get to maxing up, I think. So, let's do this. We have... Oh, we're a little bit off. Has anybody got a Brachiosaur? Brachiosaur, anybody? 
Uh, I could just put in a Brachiosaur, I suppose. Hold on, let me just put a Brachiosaur. <laughs> I will do it! And we'll play with it. And there you go, 1006. So that's now 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, so it's 8. We got 80, I think, possibly. What the problem is, I'm not running out of Argentinosaurus DNA. I'm not running out of, um, what do you call it? Uh, Pirated DNA. I'm running out of the other one, Dimetrodon and Brachiosaur DNA. Right, okay. We could do a fusion of five and see how that goes, but I like doing one by one. I don't know. Every time I do the fusion like loads, it never turns out too well. Saying that, however, this also isn't turning out too well. Come on, I would love to get this thing to level 29. I'd love to. You know, I'm happy. This seems to be, I, I don't know about you, but if you fuse together lower classes, like rares or epics, do you not find you, you often get the higher results than if you do a unique? I, I feel like it must be harder. There must be like a lower percentage of getting a high number on the uniques. Oh, there's a 50. Okay, that's what I want. I've said it'll take a 50 on something, a 50 or higher. That'll do. Okay. Okay, should we just do, we'll, should we do the fire? Let's do, oh. Wait, what? Oh, no. Hold on, hold on. We can do the five. So, um, we need to just fuse this guy up because I deliberate when, oh, oh <laughs> see what I mean? See what? No, get a 70 there. No, get a 70 there, unique. God damn it. And now that'll be it. That's my look gone. The, the game was like, go on, keep going. If you do one more, you'll get a 70 and you'll be so happy. No, you get a 70 on this bloody thing. Oh, I don't need it on that. Oh, and I, oh, well, there you go. I wasted that. Yay, back to 10s and 20s. Fantastic. Oh, dear. Well, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Let's see what we get. See what we get. Yep, yep. Oh, my God. Come on, we can do it. No, we can't do it. We can't do it. We need like two, well, 154, I think. Yeah, 154. Well, 124 now. And with two pops, I don't think that's going to happen. Not even with two 70s, it's gonna happen. Oh, but we're close. We're so close. Come on. Oh, 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 oh hold. Watch it. Watch it. I'll get like a hundred here. Watch. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now it's all. It's all in the head. It's all mind games, isn't it? It's all like ooh, if you click it when the the boost jumps, then you get it. That's not how it works. I wish it was. <laughs> so we always want to find like a. Yep, there's another thing. So a hundred left. A hundred flipping left on Ardennes Maximum to make it level 29. I knew this would be the case. I knew we wouldn't level up a single bloody one. Oh, okay. But we also got lovely people donating in the Alliance uh, to Dimetrodon. So thank you everybody there, especially the ones who donated a hundred. Even, even a 20 is good, so I'll take that. <gasps> Ooh, and another one. Each one's just one pop at Magnetator. If you're like, that's crazy. All of you guys, lovely, thank you very much. You deserve a shout out. If you've donated to Metrodon, a lot of this was before or while the event was happening, so now people don't have any Dimetrodon DNA left because they're like, oh my God, I can get Magnetator. <laughs> so thank you so much to everybody who has donated that. Again, just one pop each is ridiculous. And fine, this is when it started running dry. <laughs> and people either didn't have any or were using it on themselves and that's completely fine. But Magnetator, here we go. So we, oh yeah, we're definitely not close. We need what? 300 and, well, 360? 360. Now we have 5, 10, 15, 6. We have 7. So we got a minimum of 70 here. Come on, let's, let's, come on, come on. Come on. Well, a 20 is better than a 10. It's double. I'll take it. 20 is good. But a 70 or a 50 would be good. And we got 50 on a dentist maxima. Oh, 30. Oh, 30. That's good. That's good. Come on, let's keep it going. We got yeah, like five left. Come on. We're, oh, we could, we'll probably get another one, actually, because I'll go into the sanctuaries and just feed uh, Demetrodon because we're 20 off. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Like, if I max this guy out, I'd be so happy. If I get Magnetator on my team, uh, my loadout when I'm battling, I'm, I'd say 80% chance I'm gonna win just because it's uh, so fast. And as long as I play it right, it can usually survive a lot of things. Only things that are good counters for Magnetator is stuff like um, Indoraptor Gen 2, because usually I'm quicker and then he'll just go for a speed up and then he'll just go for a big hit and I'll, I'll be dead because I got no armor. Um, it's a shame. 
Oh no, come on! 250 more! 250 more! We haven't done it, we haven't done it. Oh my god. But this, this event, this past week has been the quickest I think I've ever progressed my high level team, like my actual battling team. And yeah, just as I thought, we are so close. Oh, well, looks like I'm putting a Dimetrodon in one of these. Oh, I was expecting to level up at least one of these, but I didn't catch a break on any of them. Any of them. Oh, a 40. I'll take that. I'll take that. So now we need a 190. 190. But we've increased our high levels. Each, like, early Dominus, almost le almost maxed. Magnetator, almost maxed. And then it's Ardentus Maxima. And then when the event ends, I'll get so much of this guy. But do I want to? Do I want to level this thing up? Kind of got to. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I hate it. What are we getting here? Ooh, Pro Stratosaurus. Oh, we got two epics. That's pretty decent. Usually, I mean, you're guaranteed one. Ooh, a 24. I got one more extra. So, hello and welcome to this horrible nightmare of an event. This is the second one, I think, that we've done. No, it's the first one. It's the first one. And it's bleeding horrible. So, I mean... On the surface, it doesn't look too bad, if I click on it. Um, only, well, I think it's legendaries and lower, so there's definitely a wide variety of dinosaurs you can do. However, boosts are allowed, and your natural level is allowed. Um, and when I first started playing this event, I was doing really well. And now, last time I played it, um, I just lost four or five battles in a row, because I faced up against uh, you know, maxed level Indoraptors, Indoraptor Gen 2s with boosts. Monostegatops, again, is another one a lot of people use. Even, what's the other one that a lot of people use in their team? It's, it's the Hybrid Rare. It's the one that Ir Irritated Gen 2 has a hybrid of. <laughs> Somebody comment saying, God, even I know Irritated Gen 2 has a hybrid, Beavis. God, how could you forget? Look! <laughs> I, I'm really lucky that I remember any of these. Suchitator, that's the one. Uh, that, like, when you face up against that, maxed at level 30 with boosts, health boosts, there ain't anything you could do. For all time's sake, let's give this a shot, shall we? Let's see if I can win one. Win one. I have, like, Evil Flaffy at level 25, which isn't too bad. Um, I mean, you might as well start with Indo- I mean, Indoraptor Gen 2 level 26 is pretty decent. But it has no mods on it. So, if, and you, at the stage I'm at, I'm facing people that, or at least whenever I do good luck, watch him. Watch him, he's gonna have loads of stuff. He's gonna have Indoro, 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 Wait, what? Sun Gaia? Level 20? This thing doesn't have a hybrid, I'm pretty sure, does it not? Ooh, okay. Right, so what should I go for here? He's probably gonna go for speed reduction. Or shield, yeah, I'll go for the shielding. Okay, I'll do this. Um, let's see. Oh, he goes for a thag. Interesting, interesting. Uh, now he goes first. Now, it doesn't matter what he does. We'll go for Mutual Fury and cleanse ourselves. This is the play. I mean, I don't want to get hit by it. Because he's going to decelerate me and then he goes first in the next one. Yeah, I mean, that'll do. But now we get to cleanse ourselves of the speed reduce. We increase our attack and speed. And now we can kill it in one. Um, that, that was probably the smartest way I could play Indoraptor Gen 2. I know! It's Indo Gen 2! It does- it, it's good! It's just the fact that so few creatures can take it on, and things that you think would be able to take it on, like Magnetator, can't, and get rinsed in two turns. Oh, it's ridiculous. Something can kill Magnetator in, t in two turns. That's fairly OP. I mean, not even a Trico. I mean, maybe a Trico could, but at least a Magnetator would do a lot of damage. But a Magnetator can only do two hits to a, a Trico, where it can only do one to an Indo. Um, okay, so what we want to do here is get our evasive up a lot. Does that mean we're guaranteed to dodge an attack now we've got a evasive strike? And then we'll do Mutual Fury again here. Um, and because he goes first, we'll cleanse ourselves. Can we do Mutual Fury again? Oh my god, it was Indo Raptor Gen 2! Stop it! I mean, the chances are, I'm... Yeah, oh wait, yeah! Well, there you go, I forgot I would survive that! And... Unless he's got like a Draco Ceratops, which the high chance he could! 
Uh, but he doesn't. He's dead. Yeah, nothing you can do against that. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, he's got his own. Interesting, interesting. Oh, oh, this is interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> so interesting. Oh, 2,100. Uh, of course, his strike is going to go straight through me and kill me. Mm, he's got level 27 with boosts on it. It's got boosted everything. I don't know how much extra that is boosted, but it's a lot. Um, so what we want to do here, is it immune to bleed? It isn't immune to bleed. Uh, and it does, oh, it goes first. So Suchitator's dead. Suchitator's dead. I was thinking maybe I could bleed it, but no, it would kill me in one hit. Um, so how about we slow him down? And then we just go for a big hit. I think that's the best thing we can do. Slow him down. Wait, I'm faster? Oh, right. Please don't have gone for Mutual Fury. Please don't have done that. Oh! Please don't get a crit. Oh! Oh, so many what-ifs. <laughs> okay. Okay, we've won. We've, I think. It depends if he's... Well played, yeah. That was his... That was his... Uh, his victory. His win condition was the Indoor after Gen 2. Uh, so he's got his Mutual Fury. Okay, why though? But why though? Okay, and now we're just gonna switch to Mono Stegatops. It depends what his other creature is. He might just be expecting me to... I mean, at this point, one of us has got a Mono Stegatops or a Draco, right? One of us has. I might as well try it. Let's see. Did he switch out? He didn't. Okay, yeah. You know, I'll give him a well played. I, I, I kind of ran him over there just because I put out my Interactive Gen 2 first. If he put his out first, I could have lost that very easily. Very, look at that. I'm, I'm like 200 trophies below the highest I've ever gone. That is a lot of losses in a row. It's a lot of losses. We'll do one more. There's no point because I ain't beat 904, but let's see. I just, I should put a side comparison of all of the weeks that have gone by for the way I look. <laughs> Quarantine will do that, do you? You know what? No, there's no point in doing that. Let's do a regular battle, eh? That way it helps me out in just generally not staying up too late. Because usually that's what I'm doing. Just battle, battle, battle. I haven't been doing too great in this. This is the actual battle. Let's see. Defeat three creatures. What have we got? Okay. So we got Magnetator. We're almost guaranteed a victory. Watch this space. I'll lose. So, Ardennis Maxima. Let's switch it. Look, he could be two health boosts on him. Now, I'm wondering whether it's better to, you know, save up your boosts. And then maybe try out something else. Whoa! That is a lot of health. Wow, that's a lot of attack. I do not like this. Just gonna go for a rampage and just try and do as much damage as possible. Yeah, possibly even get a crit. Jesus, 4,100. That's a lot. Oh, yeah, we've definitely lost. If somebody's got this many boosts to put it on an early Dominus and make it that, the rest of their team is gonna be something to be messed with. Yeah, Strike and what's it? Oh, I survive. Okay, so it's maybe a Thordor or something that doesn't have a counter. Oh, Pro Serratus, what speed is this? No, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering whether it's better to save up your boosts and wait for you to get a creature that's good. Uh, put all your boosts on one creature, meaning that if you get that creature in your team, it's a practical win condition. Or if you just spread out your boosts. Don't know. Just really don't know which one's the best one to go for. So he's definitely going to kill me. Um, oh, now, do I put in Magnetator? I don't know. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so he's got 4,000 attack. He's going to hit me with 4,000. Um, I think Thor can take it. I think Thor can take the hit. Uh, even at half. 1,000. Oh, he's, he's just going to survive. He's just going to survive. Unless I get a crit. Come on, Thor. 40% chance. Yes. Oh, just did it. I don't... That maybe would have killed him. Maybe would have killed him without the crit. I don't know. But we got it. We got it. Okay, so what's going to be out next? Ehrlich? Probably Ehrlich just to get the speed boost. Oh, that's not good. Oh, ooh. Smile and Emis. Smile and Emis. Now he's immune to stuns. So it's all going to be up to Magnetator. <laughs> it's all... What's his attack? 1,000. Well, it's to be expected. He does have a lot of armor. It's not, you can't really get it up too high. So, Fire 61, Thordor, he did all right. He did all right, buddy. Um, oh, shielding accelerator is not good. Um, okay, okay, what do we go for here? Um, ah, ay, ay, ay. Um, 
I mean, what's he gonna go for? Precise power, rampage and run, there's 2,000. I mean, is, is he immune to speed reduction, right? Yes, okay. Okay, that's, that's okay. If I can rampage and run out into Magnetate, at least I can just get a little bit more damage on this thing. Just a little bit. Oh, a crit! Oh, it really didn't help though. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Even if it is a T-Rex. Oh, he would kill me. Okay, let's see. If he switches out. Oh, he didn't do it. Shielding decelerating. Okay, well, let's just do as much attack as possible with a rampage and run. It's not enough. It's not enough. I'm gonna be hit pretty hard by something. Oh, okay, okay. You can't decelerate me. Oh, it's all up to Magnetator. It's all up to Magnetator. Damn, damn. If only I could have killed him in one hit. Precise pounce. That's 2,000 damage. Doesn't get the crit. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah. Reduced his attack. Fantastic. Okay. Now, what do we go for here? What do we, what do, we do? What do we do? He's got an Ehrlichosaurus and he's got a hidden dinosaur. I think he's just going to fodder this thing off. I think he's going to fodder it off. Yeah, there's no point. Right, now it depends. Has Ehrlichosaurus got higher than 154 speed? Does it? <laughs> it does. We're dead. And there you have it. There you have it. End of. End of. It didn't matter what I did. And he got a crit. I was killed by the Ehrlichosaurus. And this is why sometimes... <sighs> it's... 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 It sucks because let's like that was a week. We did really good. Like you got, you know, Argentinosaurus DNA, irritated DNA. You got all of that stuff. But even with all that upgrades to your team, still not enough. Still not enough to uh, win a battle in what I'm reg. I mean, I haven't leveled up, but it's still not enough to level up any of my creatures. Uh, it's just this is why the tournaments are good. Because it doesn't matter what I'm leveling up. This doesn't change, usually. It doesn't even matter if you level up your creatures. You never, you, you'll never, stay at the same kind of cups forever. But at least in the tournaments, it feels good because everyone's on an even playing field. Ludia, stop doing this. Just have tournament as base level 20. Nobody does friendly battles unless they're practicing for friggin uh, like a new team, which is very rare, I suppose. Or at least I very rarely do it. <laughs> Maybe that's why I lose. But and they do it because maybe they're practicing for a tournament and they're like, okay, if it's, this is going to be my team, let's see how this goes. That's what we need base, like flat out level 26s, no mods. Keep, keep levels, keep mods for the regular battles. We do that. I mean, practically we're forced to do it every day because we need to defeat 10 creatures to get the daily incubator, to get the boosts and to help out our alliances. But... Anyway, I'm still holding off uh, boosting my creatures. If I boosted my my magnetator up a little bit more, it would have been faster. Would have been faster. But is it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you, I mean, that's the thing. If I'd leveled up my Thordor in attack, I would do more damage to the Smiling Dynamis, and then maybe I would have killed him one hit. Still would have died in one hit from the Urlocosaurus. You have an Urlodominus that does 2,500 in a regular hit. You're sword. Like, that's what you need to do. And maybe that's what I should be doing. Maybe I should just have my Urlicus, or Urla Dominus just to 2,500 damage. I mean, <laughs> 2,200 and then two attack boosts. It's pretty close to 2,500. What does that mean he did? It must have been tier like 12 or something for that attack. Good lord. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye.